from the sideline. Moody inbounding, passes into Belts. They need to come out aggressively and take the ball. They can't wait to the last minutes of the game because in the meantime, John Battle will be racking the points up as they have been throughout the first three periods. Ray with the shot, it's up, it's no good. Rebound by Kearney, shot no good. Goes out of bounds. And after a moment of thinking, he says it's John Battle's ball. Moody will be inbounding the ball and Edwards comes in for Carter. Gate City is down by six points. We've got seven minutes and 19 seconds left. Passes into Jones. Shot is up. Air ball. Rebounded by Bays. Bays brings the ball down the court for Gate City. Passes to Bellamy. She loses it out of bounds. With seven minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. The score is 34-28. Gate City down by six. Moody inbounding. Finally, Gate City just trapping against... Jones forcing Moody to inbound to Ray. Looked like her foot was on the line when she caught that. Moody over to Jones. Jones coming in the back door. Bay's got her hand on it. No foul called. Good play. Smith with a rebound. Should have been a foul there. Oh, Moody picks it off. Passes in to Bay's. Let's have it. Jones was all over. Passes to Morris. Morris bringing it down the court. Passes to Edwards to Smith. Shot underneath the goal is good. Gate City's down by four. Bellamy comes up with it, passes to Morris. Morris fakes, comes in, is fouled. Should have two shots there. Let's see who the foul is called against. It would have been great if she could have hit that and she'd have had one more shot. It would have cut the lead to one point. Instead, she should have two shots. Foul was on number 32, Moody. That was her second personal foul. Morris will have two shots. Score is 34 to 30. First shot is up. It's good. Cuts the lead to three points for John Battle. She's got one more shot. It's up and good. John Battle now with a two-point lead. Gate City needs to stop them. Moody looking inbound to Ray. Looks like she double dribbled it off her knee. Gets a screen. Bellamy cuts her off. Let's see if it's going to be a charge or a block. More than likely, they'll call a block. No, they call the charge. That's the most surprising call I've seen all night to see them call the charge then. It will be Gate City's ball, and they are down by two points. We'll have the chance to come back and tie it up. Edwards inbounding the ball for Gate City. Passes into Bellamy. Bellamy at the top of the key, calling the play, getting everyone out at the top of the key. Looks for someone to pass to. Hits Bays back at the top of the key. Brings it underneath. Passes to Smith. She's got open court. Shoots. It's good. Ties it up at 34. Way to go, Heather Smith. Passes into Belts. Belts looking to pass to someone. Passes back to Moody. Moody down to Jones. Jones slows it down. Back to Belts. Belts shoots. No good. Rebounded by Bays. Good job. Let's go Gate City. Five minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Passes to, oh no, Jones intercepts it. Brings it down the court. Bays is the only one to stop her. Pulls in front. Shot no good. Rebounded by Moody. No good. Jones with the shot. Bays got a piece of it. Knocked it away. Holding called against number 34, Belt, and things are finally starting to go Gate City's way. That should send Bays to the foul line with a one and one, and the coach for John Battle calls a timeout. Things are finally starting to turn around for Gate City. Score is tied up 34-34. We have five minutes and 34 seconds left on the clock, and Bays will be going to the foul line with a one and one. And that was Belt's third personal foul. Gate City just needs to keep in there. They've been plugging away at John Battle. Finally, things are starting to pay off for him. A few of the calls are going their way now. And they've tied it up. They can take the lead here. And Bay's only a sophomore playing varsity basketball has been in a more pressurized, has been in more pressurized situations than this. 
and has come through for Gate City. Blackwell still talking to his team, sends them out there. They're ready to play. Bays will be at the line with a one and one. If she hits it, it'll give Gate City the lead. First time they will have had the lead, I believe, in the second half of the ball game. Five minutes and 34 seconds left on the clock. It's a one and one. Shot is up. It's good. Bays hits it to give Gate City the one point lead. She'll have another shot. She needs to hit this one and then hope that Gate City's defense can hold on. Second shot is up and it's good. Gate City takes the lead. Score is 36-34. Moody inbounding. Gate City got a good press down there. Kearney with the ball passes back to Moody. Bellamy trying to cut her off. Bays and Bellamy both trapping loose ball. They're going for 10 seconds. Let's see what they call. She walked. Jones walked. Gate City with the lead, 522 on the clock, and it'll be Gate City's ball. This is the best opportunity that they have had in a long time. Bellamy with the ball at the top of the key, bring the ball down, passes back to Morris, who's looking to eat up a little bit of time, passes out to Bellamy. Bellamy bringing it back to the top of the key, cuts in, not, ball is knocked away, and double dribbles. Moody double dribbles. Things are going Gate City's way. Edwards inbounding the ball for Gate City. We've got five minutes and four seconds. They come out in a half-court trap. Passes out to Bellamy. Less than five minutes now remaining in the game. Bellamy passes to Bays. Bays looking in to Smith. Smith turns. Easy shot up and good. Gate City takes a four-point lead. Biggest lead they've had in the half. Passes into Ray. Ray back to Moody. She's... Trapped, passes to Kearney, goes out of bounds. It's John Battle's ball. Bellamy knocked that away. Good defensive play. Don't let John Battle get anything going. They've really stopped them here in the last minute of the game that has been played. They've got a four-point lead over John Battle now. Looking to pass into Ray. Nothing there. Passes into Jones instead at the top of the key. Jones out to Belts. Belts to Ray, Ray back to Jones at the top of the key. She pulls, meets Gate City. Oh, shot is good. Scores 38-36, Gate City still with the lead. Four minutes and about 18 seconds left on the clock. Gate City with a two point lead. Bellamy pulls, shoots, good. Gate City 40, John Battle 36. Passes in and looks like no. Belts comes up with it. Bays I thought would pick that off. Moody looking to pass, hits a belt. Belts passes off to Ray. Ray pulls, shoots, no good. Rebounded by Kearney. Kearney shot, no good. Rebounded by Edwards. And she dribbles out. She's called with double dribbling. The referee, I don't think, saw that, but more reacted to the crowd noise from John Battle. Gate City with a four point lead over John Battle. It'll be John Battle's ball underneath their own goal. Moody will be inbounding the ball for John Battle. Passes into Jones. Bellamy knocks it away. They call a foul against Bellamy. That was actually, I thought, a good defensive play. I don't see where they got the foul at. Let's see what they call. Push. A push. She pushed the ball away. That'll send Jones to the line. They're giving her a one and one. Gate City with a four-point lead. Three minutes and 46 seconds left on the clock in the fourth period. Shot is up. No good. And Kearney comes down with the rebound. Passes across to Jones. Goes out of bounds. Gate City's ball. Three minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Trish Edwards inbounding the ball for Gate City. The referee's talking to each other. I don't know what the problem is. Talking to Coach Blackwell now about something. I don't know what the problem is. <clears throat> Blackwell kind of smiling and laughing about it now. Edwards will be inbounding the ball. Passes into Carter. Carter brings the ball down to the top of the key. 
Pulls inside, passes out to Bays. Bays back to Smith. Smith back out to Carter, eating up a little bit of a time. Three minutes and 22 seconds left on the clock. Carter at the top of the key, trying to make John Battle come out. Passes to Morris. Morris at the wing position. Passes to Bays at the top of the key. Almost lost the ball there. Oh, no. Belt Low temperatures in the mid-30s Saturday and Sunday. Lows Monday in the upper 30s. Highs Saturday and Sunday in the low 60s. And highs Monday in the upper 60s to near... A piece of her. Foul is called against Bays. That'll send Belts to the line with two shots. Shot was no good. Gate City still with a four-point lead. Uh, we have three minutes and two seconds left in the game. And Bills with two shots from the line. Shot is up. No good. Gate City still with a four-point lead. Second shot is up. She hits it. Cuts Gate City's lead to three points. Carter bring the ball down the court for Gate City. Top of the key, Jones comes out, gets a screen from Edwards, looks to pass. Oh, come on, she's reaching in on her. Smith pulls around, shoots, foul, no foul called. Morris comes down with it, trying to work her way around. What's the call? Okay, timeout. I thought he was going to call a foul against Morris there. Gate City does call the timeout. We've got two minutes and 38 seconds left on the clock in the fourth period. Coach Blackwell telling his team what they need to get done. They'll be inbounding the ball underneath their own goal. And now we're getting a little bit of competition between the Gate City cheerleaders and the John Battle cheerleaders as they're both out on the court now, ending with a cheer there. Gate City with the three-point lead over John Battle. We've got two minutes and 38 seconds left in the game. It will be Gate City's ball underneath their own goal. Need to come back, score two points, give them the five-point lead to keep it safe. Take the ball away. Score. Have seven and then just run the clock out and they should have no problem with John Battle. They just need to hold on to this lead that they have now. Get another bucket and they should be pretty safe. Morris will be inbounding the ball for Gate City. Smith, Carter, Bays, and Edwards are in. Morris looking to inbound, passes into Smith. Smith out to Morris. Morris brings it back to the top of the key, making John Battle come out. Passes to Carter. And reaching in from Carter, I mean, against Carter, they call it that time against Jones. She did it twice in a row before they called it. That should be her, I believe, fourth. It is her fourth personal foul. Let's get one more against her, and she'll be sitting on the bench. That should send Carter to the line with a one and one Belts comes in, or back into the game, and Bellamy comes in for Bays. Carter at the line, a uh, one and one shot, score is 40-37. First shot is up and off the rim. Kearney comes down with the rebound, passes out to Moody. Moody bringing it down the court. Gate City has her defense set up. Passes out to Belts. Belts back to Jones. Jones out to Ray. Ray pulls from three, shoots, no good. Rebounded by Morris. Puts the ball down and passes out to Carter now. Carter bringing it down the court. Less than two minutes left in the game. Actually a minute and 53 seconds left on the clock. Dribbling around, running out the clock. Morris with the ball at the top of the key now. Passes back out to Carter. Carter pulls, just runs around, gets a screen from Bellamy, passes to Bellamy. 
A minute and 35 seconds left on the clock. Bellamy with the ball at the top of the key. Dribbling around, passes out to Carter. Carter at the top, pushed by Moody, trying to draw the foul. And just running around, running the clock out, and fouled now by Ray. With a minute and 22 seconds left on the clock. Great job by Gate City to run the timeout on the clock. Gate City has a three-point lead. And that'll send Carter to the line with a one and one If she can hit this, it will help Gate City out a lot. <laughs> She's got a one and one shot. Gate City with a three-point lead. We've got a minute and 22 seconds left in the fourth period. Shot is up and good. Gate City now with a four-point lead. She'll have one more shot, and a timeout is called by John Battle. If Carter hits this next shot, which is the reason why the coach of John Battle called the timeout. She wants Carter to think about it for a while and possibly get a little bit nervous. I don't suspect that would happen to Carter, though. She's a very experienced player. But if Carter does come out and hit the shot, that'll give Gate City the five-point lead over John Battle. With a minute and 22 seconds left on the clock, it would then be John Battle's ball. They would have to bring it down the court. And... If they did score, it would cut Gate City's lead to three. Gate City could bring it down and run more time off the clock or until they were fouled again by John Battle. If she doesn't hit the shot, they'll be ahead by four points. And if John Battle hits a bucket, they'll be cut to two. John Battle comes out quickly. Gate City just breaking their huddle now. Carter looks determined, comes up to the line. Four point lead for Gate City. She's got one shot. It's up. And good. Off the rim, bounces around and sinks. Jones bringing it down the court as quickly as she can. Passes to Moody. Moody trapped. Passes back to Jones, almost wiped out there on the court. Passes to Ray. Shoots from three, air ball, and out of bounds. It'll be Gate City's ball with a minute and four seconds left on the clock. Gate City with a five-point lead, and Battle comes out in the press, passes into Heather Smith. Smith passes out to Carter. Carter is fouled. Carter will go to the line with a one-and-one, one, fouled by Moody. I believe that's her third or fourth personal foul. I'm not exactly sure. 58 seconds left on the clock. That was her fourth personal foul. Carter's warmed up for the foul shots. She's got a one and one Gate City with a five point lead. 58 seconds left on the clock. And Gate City can pretty much put it away right here. Shot is up. Oh, off the rim. Knocked out of bounds by Jones. A lot of pushing going on. Should be Gate City's ball. They're saying it's John Battles. Jones and Ghost both getting into a lot of pushing out there. Bays started to come in there. The clock people tell, told him to come in, and Carter comes down with the rebound, brings it down the court, slows it down, tries to keep things running, and she is fouled, possibly by Moody, possibly by... Belts, let's see who it's going to go against. Looks like they're calling it on. I'm not sure who they called it on. If it was Moody, that was number five. If it was, was Belts. Let's see. Carter at the line. It was Belts. That was her third personal foul. Shot is up and good. They hit him 43. John Battle 37. Forty seconds left on the clock. Carter puts up the second shot and hits it. <clears throat> Edwards come in, comes in. Carter has pretty much been a dominating factor from the line for Gate City. Carter goes out. She's pretty much put this game away for Gate City, who has the lead, 44-37. Moody bringing the ball down the court. Passes to Jones underneath. He cuts, shoots, and it hits it. Good shot. Battle 39. Gate City 44, 25 seconds left on the clock. Bays bringing it down the court. 
And she is fouled. Let's see if it goes against Moody. If it's Moody, that's number five. I believe it is. Moody does foul out. 21 seconds left on the clock. And Bays goes to the line. Gets hit with a five-point lead. They pretty much put this game away. It'll be a district win for them. And Bays at the line with a one-on-one -on -one shot. Shot is up. Oh, just off the front of the rim. Get your own rebound, though. And she's fouled by Belts again. That'll be Belts' fourth personal foul. And there are now 15 seconds left on the clock. Gate City still with a five-point lead. They've got this one put away. Bays will be at the line again with the one-on-one -on -one shot. She puts it up off the front of the rim. Gets her own. Oh, no. Ray comes down with it. Passes out to Jones. Jones puts a long shot up from three. Don't know why she did that. Seven seconds left on the clock. Total air ball. Seven seconds. Edwards passes in to Morris. What? They called Morris was traveling. And all she got on the ball was a fingertip. Oh. Number 44 inbounding the ball. I believe that's Angle. Passes in to Ray from three. Air ball. Bays with the rebound. Three, two, one, zero. Gate City wins by five. Score of 41 39. For Scott County Cablevision, I'm Sean Lepp. I'm here with cameraman. Darby Lawson and statistician Cynthia or Selena, excuse me, Selena Davidson. Team. And Coach Sandy Blackwell, Donita Bays, Joanna Bellamy. Tammy Carter. Trish Edwards. April Glover. Tracy Ghost. Lisa Henderson. Amy Morris. Melinda Quillen. And Heather Smith. They make up the varsity basketball team, which we will see momentarily. And we will have some words from Sandy Blackwell, the coach for the girls varsity team. Right now he's talking to Mr. Smith, who was announcing a little bit of crowd noise from the varsity team. Trish Edwards, senior, Gate City. Tracy Ghost and Amy Morris, the senior basketball players for the varsity team. And it looks like they're gonna get some roses.
And Coach Blackwell and McConnell present the girls with, looks like either a half a dozen or roses. Again, there are the seniors who will be leaving after this year. This is your last year playing for Gate City. Looks like, looks like about a dozen roses, I'm not sure. And let's wish them good luck tonight. We'll be back in a moment with varsity girls basketball action. Gate City Middle School gym with Varsity girls basketball action jumping for Gate City is Tracy Ghost and for Virginia High is Rose and that's Robinson with the ball there putting up the shot no good Edwards with the rebound passes off to Morris who brings the ball down the court for Gate City passes off to Bellamy Bellamy pulls shoots good Bellamy hits for two on the first shot of the game for Gate City as Foster brings the ball down the court for Virginia High, sets up at the top of the key, looking inside, passes down to Robinson, and tried to, inside, goes to Sherwood, who scores. That was the play they were working on in the warm-up, and they got Ghost on it as she cuts the ball. Morris with the shot off the front of the rim, rebounded by Doss, out to Foster. Foster puts up a shot, no good, and Smith comes down with it. And they're calling a foul against Robinson, number 34, for a holding. That's her first personal foul. Actually, we're only about 52 seconds into the game, and she's got a first personal foul. Bellamy bringing the ball down in the court for Gate City. Looks to Morris. Morris inside to Smith. Smith dribbles, looks inside. And is fouled by number 51, Rose. And that's her first, first personal foul. In under a minute, last time Gate City played Virginia High, it was at Virginia High, and it was a very slow game because of all the personal fouls that occurred in the game. So far in less than a minute, actually a minute and three seconds, we've seen two personal fouls against Virginia High. First shot from Heather Smith is good. She'll have one more shot. It's up, and oh, just outside the rim. And let's see, that's Rose coming down with the rebound, passing out to Foster. Score is 3-2, to two. Gate City with a one-point lead. Robinson with the ball at the forward position. Fake Smith off, comes in for the shot, no good. Ball goes out of bounds, knocked out by Edwards. And... <laughs> That was, they were able to confuse everyone there, the referee playing the foster. Hey, this is your end of the court. Uh, passes into uh, Sherwood. She lost it, and Amy Morris came up with the ball. Amy Morris bringing the ball down the court for Gate City. Passes off to Edwards. Pulls with the jump shot. Oh, just off the front of the rim. Knocked out of bounds by Tracy Ghost. And it'll be Virginia High's ball. Doss inbounding the ball for Virginia High. Gate City with the press. Let's Foster take the pass pretty easily. Passes off to Sherwood. Back to Doss to Foster. And she traveled. Couldn't get the ball down and took a couple steps there. And it'll be Trish Edwards inbounding the ball for Gate City. Still with the one-point lead. We've got six minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock in the first period. Passes off to Morris. Morris looking inside, couldn't find anything. Back out to Bellamy. She pulls, shoots, sees the show. Just off the back of the rim. Edwards puts it up, and it's no good. Rose with the rebound, trying to fight off the Lady Devils. And finally passes out to Foster. Oh, she's in trouble. Passes out to Doss. Edwards trying to knock that away. Couldn't.